Now, last night, uh, we were having a girls' night in, which I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed. <laughs> and Jill gave her own mini-speech to the girls, uh, and the words were so moving, I just had to say them again today. My eldest daughter, Rebecca, marries her fiancé, Will, on Saturday the 6th of August. It will be an amazing day, I know. I have a mix of emotions, so happy for her, but also the realisation that although she will always be my daughter, she is now part of a new family. A while ago, when both my daughters were living abroad, I said, what have we done for them both to be overseas? And someone said to me, you have given them wings to fly free and follow their dreams, with the knowledge that they have a nest that is safe if you need it. This has stuck with me, and that's what I want for Rebecca and Will. Their own nest, where they can make their own memories. They will have their own family now to build a future together. Brothers and sisters, please be upstanding for the entrance of our bride. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Will and Rebecca, to pray God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Will and Rebecca a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I will take you, Rebecca, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. <laughs> <laughs> I, Rebecca, take you will to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, better for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Rebecca, I give you this ring. Will, I give you this ring. As, as a sign of our marriage, with my body, body I honour you. you. All, All that I am, I give to you. To you. And all that I have, I share with you, with the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so, brothers and sisters, in the presence of God and before this congregation, Will and Rebecca have given their consent. They've made their marriage vows to each other, and they've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and the receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. I give them a round of applause. So on behalf of the whole wedding party, I'd like to welcome you all to Whitley Hall and to thank you all for joining us on this very special moment as we celebrate Rebecca marrying the man of her dreams. Aww. Now it also says in the Idiot's Guide to Wedding Speeches that you should pay compliment to the groom, which I was all set to do until Will ran me off the track at the go-karting <laughs> on his stag weekend. Seriously though, we couldn't be more delighted in Rebecca's choice of husband. I know it took a whole week in Barmouth to pluck up the courage to ask me for my permission. <laughs> and it has to be said that there was only ever going to be one answer, Will. You're loving, you're caring, you're patient, you're good at cooking, <laughs> good at DIY, and myself and Jill are so happy that you chose each other. I'd like to thank the Willits for welcoming me into their family so warmly. I've been told I have to make a little story, tell something about my beautiful bride. 
So, to set the scene, we're in Scarborough, we're on holiday. And I thought, right, this is the moment. So I got down on one knee. At this point, because it had been raining, I could feel the water from the grass seeping into my knee. And that would have been the perfect engagement story if it had ended there. But sadly, someone decided to walk away. <laughs> Yet again! <laughs> Engagement happened a week after, <laughs> but it would have been a beautiful engagement if it was there and then. Every boundless one, you're the only one I could love, that I could love like this. Time my hopes to wings of doves, hope it's enough, I pray to God this sticks. I've been wishing on a star. Dreaming in the dark You're the only one I could love The only one I could love like this You're the only one I could love like this Tied my hopes to wings of doves Hope it's enough I pray to God this sticks I've been wishing on a star Reckless dreaming in the dark Will's heart has belonged to many things, but it's only ever belonged to one person, and that is Bex. So ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to stand if you are able and recharge your glasses. The bride and groom. The bride and groom.